Hi guys, Frost Fangs here, back with another Paladins video, We're playing some Alex today, one of my least favourite champions, which is a bit of a weird way to intro a video, but I haven't covered him in forever, he's been changed quite a bit in the past year or so, which was probably the last time I made a video, sometime in 2023, but heroism is the subject of most of the changes, but I'm basically trying to do an updated video for Alex for 2024, the build is a little bit different, don't really pay too much attention to this other version of it, but yeah, they've always been focused around speed, reset, and then health which is what we're going to be running talent wise i don't know if i'm going to run death hastens or heroism i'll probably do one game with each but discovery is kind of to the side and is a bit weak at the moment i would say discovery is a bit of a hard sell at the moment and even after the nerfs to heroism with the damage reduction going down and the cooldown going up it is still an okay talent it's just a little bit different and significantly weaker of course than it was before and death hastens i think might become the default it's kind of hard to say though all right so if game one we've got tdm magistrates probably good because i need a bit of a warm up with them it's been way too long like i said we've got damba victor mave and tyra versus Ceres, Sati, BK, Grover, and Buck. Gonna have to go Death Hastens, see how this goes, and then the slide setup. I really do need to just get used to Lex. Pretty sure it's been about a year since I last played him. I'm gonna slide over here, nice momentum, carry cardio, Rogue's Gamut, Mercy Kill, Viper, and Gord, Ensign, Everyone, Blue, and Ross, Subject, Window, and Soul Collector. I probably should have been paying more attention in case there was somebody here, but I guess we're all right. Don't know if I'm really gonna actually do anything here with this flank, but uh, missed so many shots that didn't really work. There's a right click, standing the Gord here a little bit. Oh my God, my accuracy. What is going on with Lex? I really need to just warm up here. Being able to slide in the air, I still really do like. I'm not even adjusted to that. That was some good damage there on the Lex, or not the Lex. I'm playing Lex, that was BK. Uh, hello Buck, I really do need to try and land headshots with this, we're just going to shoot and slide, life rip here, it's going to be kind of massive, we've got a bit of a buff with life rip being much better I suppose, taps here on the BK, we actually do pretty damn good damage at range, this is like a way of playing Lex that's more damage than a sort of flanker when I think about it, the fact that we were hitting for 500 and 300 at ranges where Lex I feel like usually hits for like 1, don't know why I'm not used to death hastens like at all, I guess I just never really picked it, I really did only play him with heroism, seeing that nerfed, maybe a little bit sad but I completely got why they did it because it's a little bit spammy and now it works the same, I'm glad they kept the utility for it but don't really know if I could say if it's too much of a nerf because I don't really play enough Lex to say. I thought for some reason I got CC immunity with my ultimate. Apparently not. Completely wasted by popping it there again. We're going to run from the BK. Hello Sati. We're inside so we're fine. Hello Grover. That 400 life for appeal is kind of insane. Uh, he's gone. Sati's ulting. I'm just going to keep running around. I managed to dodge all of them. We're going to try and heal it from being out of combat. Actually counterplayed. Uh, he just spawned in. We just killed him, didn't we? That was too much healing for us to actually go through him, even though I landed all the shots. He's gone. Death Hastens does not feel bad, though. Uh, right now, the damage on it actually feels pretty good. If I'm accurate in landing my shots, it's kind of insane. But that's the main problem is you actually have to be accurate. And as soon as you miss even one or two, it feels horrendous because of the timers and stuff. Definitely a talent where if you're super accurate with Lex and you're good with him and you know what you're doing, this is just kind of crazy, especially on Max Life, which I think is a really big part of it. But uh, assuming you pick him up after not playing him forever, like I'm doing right now, it can feel kind of rough. Double tap on the ultimate. Actually, solid Lex ult. Uh, sliding on the BK, landed the shot, and then the auto aim. There we go. Nice. That's also a kill on the Grover. Drive by shot actually kind of worked. Um, where's the Sadie at? Did she die? She's gone. Okay, we probably could have picked up a Penta if I played that a bit better, but definitely already liking this with Lex. It's significantly different than a uh, Paroism and sort of getting close and spamming the CC immunity, which I think is way easier to play than what I'm trying to do here just because you have to be accurate. And like I said, if you miss a couple shots in a fight, this is just GG. You're just going to lose, you know, duel. Uh, let's get rid of the Sati here if we can. You can play timers and stuff, though. Definitely kind of cheesily with it. And like I said, Life Rip is a super big key part of it. That was a 550 heal. Without Life Rip, this is going to be horrendous, too. Headshots hitting for, like, 1.1k is kind of absurd, but, uh... Yeah, you can definitely win fights with this, and a TDM is kind of a peak scenario for it. Let's just try and get rid of the back here, who's not paying attention. I don't know if I am either, because I missed those shots for no reason. We're going to slide away. I feel like as soon as I miss more than one shot, I'm like a complete failure, and the fight might as well be over. But if you're landing them, the damage output on this is kind of crazy. We're going to go for the shot on the ultimate. Uh, that actually landed somehow, kind of, I guess. A um, couple little shots there. Oh my god, what am I aiming at? I think Maeve's got me covered, though. Yep, there we go. Nice. Finish off Nimble. I feel like we also kind of need that going. But yeah, if you're landing the shots, the damage you actually have is kind of crazy. I'm dead to the BK. I probably could have killed him if I played that better, but. We are winning it. I feel like I'm doing an okay job of showing this off. Being able to slide in the air and the speed buff after, even at 40%, uh, you still have a ton of movement, even with a setup not fully focused around it. Although the setup is, I, I guess, the talent isn't. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm dead. Hello, Grover. Okay, 1k headshot. There we go. Missed the shot. He's still up. I keep reloading for no reason. Uh, we have two ammo gen in the thing. I really don't need to reload as much as I am. We'll pop it now, though. It's pretty quick. That's why I guess I keep spamming it. Damage doing work with the heals. We'll try and get rid of this Grover. I nearly walked into that stun. The timer on it. I did not play very well. Don't know why I'm playing the timer so bad, but when we hit that headshot on the Grover, it's just kind of removes them. Hello, Sati. Auto aim because I don't really feel like trying. Uh, she's gone anyway. Shouts Victor for the hand. We'll get more armor plating. I'm dead. Okay. I do feel like if I tried to play him in a seed, I'd have such a hard time right now. He really feels like a TDM sort of character with this way of playing him. Um, at least to me. Again, I could be completely wrong. Do I go for like an ultimate play? I guess I go for it. Um, actually didn't kill either of them, even though they're all kind of low. I feel like the build also doesn't really combo with it because we're getting reset on the slide per shot. And uh, we're not really spamming the shots as much as we should be because we're going for the set that slows down how much we're shooting. Does that make any sense? I'm dead here. Yeah, Sarah's so the ultimate. 
Okay, and there we go. There is the defeat. It felt pretty damn good to play. It took me a little second to warm up there, but as soon as I was, you know, going in the flow of playing Lex, he felt really strong in some of those fights where I could just really easily clear people if I was landing my shots. That is kind of the thing with it, is if you're playing the heroism spam, you could get really close and just spam your shots and it would sort of work out. With this one, you have to be much more intentional and playing kind of different, but Wicked Don't Rest doesn't really combo particularly well with this setup, so maybe I should make another version of it for this talent, which I haven't really played very much of. But 18, 778k, happy with that. The rest of the stats are, of course, on screen for you. If you're interested, I think quite a few people in that one played really, really well, but maybe they should put it into his base kit, because I see pretty much everybody ran at level 4 or 5, and then that would give him some more option card-wise, but his cards in general are just kind of weird. They don't really fit Paladins at the moment, I don't think. They're just very, very strange. I don't know if it's just me that has that feeling. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it, but I do get that he's a unique character with like the mark system and the sort of auto aim with the right click is kind of close to the end, but overall he is very unique and card wise, he kind of is too, but not necessarily in a good way. I feel like a lot of these could do with being changed and maybe they need to be reworked. I'm not sure. I just feel like regardless of what I try and run with Lex, the only cards I actually feel like they have an impact are the speed and the reset and the health kind of, but it's a very generic card. Like none of these really feel that great and I have played around with them a little bit. Like I said, if you disagree with me, definitely let me know your thoughts down in the comments. I'd love to hear them, but for me, it's just buffing out the F and even then, I feel like they could do so much more with Lex's cards than what they kind of are at the moment. Some of the ones with the retribution and yeah, like I said, in pursuit kind of do work like damage reduction, the heal after the kills and stuff, I get, but compared to what else they could do, I, I don't know. Really want to hear your thoughts down in the comments because I think there's so much potential in Lex's kit, but just never really clicked with me properly, building, like, talent-wise and stuff. For game two, we've got an Onslaught Bazaar. I really do like the fact that we've got some more maps for Onslaught. Really been enjoying it, like, recently. We've got a Ram, Tyra, Ceres, and Victor versus Yag, Amani, Grok, Ash, and Grover. Kind of tempted to pick up Heroism here, but I think for the sake of the video, because I kind of want to make this a Death Hastens video in the new way, I'm sort of playing legs because I can see myself actually playing him like this and not really the other ways. We're going to run it like this. Uh, we'll go for Life Rip and leave it at that to start. We've got Enforcer, Bear Monster, Mortal Reach, Cardio, Ferocity, Fortress Baker, Totemic, Ward, Mana Rift, and Corrosive. In we go. I guess I'm going to try and play as like a damage and like fight the tanks, I guess. I don't know. I need to just focus on my accuracy, though. Still don't really like the fact that there's the weird shake on the weapon. Don't know what we're doing here, but we're kind of holding them off. I don't know what Amani's going to do, but man, this weapon does feel kind of crazy. Death hastens, like the range on it feels way better than you'd kind of expect it to. I was trying to get rid of the Yag, but the team's got me covered. Don't even know if I should try and go around here to like flank, because I'm kind of holding them off on this doorway. And when you get headshots with this, by the way, if, like you're actually really good with legs. The skill ceiling on this feels like it would be kind of ridiculous. Shout Ceres for the heal. Like if you're just constantly landing headshots, the damage output you're going to have is kind of absurd, I think. We're going to go for the ultimate, get rid of them. Uh, that was only one, but it kind of worked. We nearly got rid of a couple more. We nearly had the Grover and the Yag there too. They're both really low. Team should have this covered. We'll get more life, which is, again, super important with this. Without life, it would feel very different. Uh, Tyra's just going to try and shred through the Yag. I think she might have it. Yeah, she's fine because the Tyra fire was on her. Um, the team's making this work. We're just kind of shredding them here. I'm doing my thing. I'm playing all right, but the team is just kind of putting in enough work that it doesn't really matter. I feel like I could be half AFK and it would sort of be all right. Don't know what she's doing. Hello, Ash. I feel like I'm just constantly slightly off a target because of the way it fires left and right. Let's just push on the Yag here. She's just kind of rolling away in a straight line. Okay. Do I push in? I feel like we can easily clear her. I don't even know what she's trying to do. Like, this is just confusing. There we go. That was a Mighty Dragon. Don't know where she is. Shots there on the Grover. That 900 headshot. We're going to right click and just push in here. Somehow we can actually headshot with the right click if you're at the right angle. For some reason, I completely forgot you could even do that. Uh, heals putting in work hello ash those life rip hits are just absurd we've not even got it maxed yet let's push in we've got the bit of ammo gem we can just tank that okay don't think i can tank the ultimate as well i might be dead try and get away actually still up serious heal props to her i'm gonna go for the ultimate maybe we'll clip her that didn't work i thought i might be able to get an angle there i'm not very good with lex ultimate that was kind of a meme for a while there goes the grok nice couple hits there shots on the amani can we finish her off it's just trying to like weave through those shots when there's so much mess in paladins that was gonna be kind of tough definitely one of the more difficult steps i would say to play even though it is just being accurate and landing shots comboed with the rest of his kit there's definitely a flow to it and a yeah sort of a pace you need to go at i'm just gonna tank that again it's sort of fine so ram ultimate is he gonna catch anybody i don't know why amani's here if you're with it though. Like I said, this is the fifth time I'm pointing out, I think, the damage is just ridiculous. The fact that you can headshot with this, um, sometimes hitting somebody like for 1k burst and you're getting a life rip on it, it's just massive. Uh, Ash versus Ram, who wins? I think our Ram's got it. I'll push in here on the, yeah, Grover. Oh my god, those shots, not a Grover, it's a, a Grok, but it just feels gross when you land them. Team to just kind of shred him here. Hello, Armani. I don't really want to stand in that right click. There's a Yag ultimate somewhere. She's just gone. If I'm landing the shots, it's just insane how much damage this is. I don't know really why Ron was so far up on his own. Don't really know what I'm doing here, but we've got 2,000 credits. I've got the ultimate too. I kind of want to pop it and get a couple, but that's the Grover ult. Sure, that's a Victor ult. Armani's running in. They're just kind of ignoring me. I'm just back here for free. She's gone. Do I push around on the Yag? Um, yeah, I guess we ult her here, right? This is just free. There we go. Actually using Lex ultimate correctly for once. It's a Christmas miracle in the middle of April. Hello, Rock. 
He's gone too. I might get kind of melted here, so I'm going to try and play it a little bit safer. That's a ram up, kind of massive. That should be a free like set of kills, godlike, apparently. And there goes the Yag. Ash Ultimate, I feel like she's been popping it a ton. I don't know why I'm running into an Amani right click. I'm scared. Let's just run. Never mind, I got rooted. Try and play it a little bit safer so we can like F away to get to cover. But yeah, got to give props to this Sarah. She has been putting in work with those heals. There we go. There's a victory. I was not paying attention to the score. I was just trying to go after the Amani who ulted. Um, yeah, we won. We kind of shredded them there. The setup felt really good to play there again. This is definitely the way I'm going to be picking up legs going forward because it's the only way I can see myself actually doing well with him. And I think I'm just a little bit more accurate and patient than I used to be so I can actually get this to work. But 16, 1, 76k, happy with that. Tyra Schrader there too. Victor actually did all right, but yeah, definitely played a little bit differently than we did. The Ceres put in work with the heals and the Ram did, you know, massive there too. Yeah, Lex felt surprisingly decent to play there. Very different than how I remember him for sure. And I can actually see myself grabbing him like this. I think Herism for me is going to be kind of dead just because of the way it works now is very different. It's much more methodical. And in that case, I just grabbed Death Hastens. Unless I want the CC immunity, then maybe. And yeah, like I said, Discovery is just kind of dead because power buys. For me, I don't think it's really worth it over the other two. But yeah, that's where I'm going to leave it. This went better than I expected, to be honest. I hope you have enjoyed today's video. Let me know your thoughts, like I said, on legs because I yapped quite a bit in this one. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did. Let me know also what you want to see me the next. I'll see you guys all very, very soon. And as always, stay frosty.